Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another end of the season top 10 by your man Killer Killer, where we give you stats and reasons for the top 10 that we choose for you guys to squabble over and bicker about. Let's hop right into it, shall we? Number 10. At number 10, I got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who have all but proven me wrong this year. Uh, Putting them in the top 10 because they are at top of their division at the moment with a high-powered offense, uh, fourth in the league at points scored. Uh, Middle of the road with the defense, man. If they can get that together, they're going to be a huge contender come playoff time. Number nine. At number nine sits the New York Giants, whose head coach fell ill and had to drop a couple games here and there. They sit second in the division at the moment behind the Dallas Cowboys, who have quietly been hot lately. Uh, The Giants do sit number 10 at points per game right now. Their offense, uh, as far as yards, is really hot. I see this team making a run in the playoffs, getting to the NFC Championship, but they may fizzle out around there. Daniel Jones, 210 completions for 2,713 yards is definitely something to watch. Uh, This offense is explosive, man. Number 8. At number eight, we got the New Orleans Saints, who have been a pretty heavy contender all season. They got the third best passing defense in the league right now, um, with the 13th best points per game on defense. Uh, They did beat the Chiefs recently in their past week, but have lost some pretty big games to other big opponents. I think for this team to be taken seriously come playoff times, they got to clean up the mistakes and beat some of these teams that uh, are considered top tier. Uh, contenders number seven at number seven I have the Jacksonville Jaguars pretty much for the same reason that I have the Saints Uh, they win games that they should win but then again struggle against top tier opponents Um, currently they sit atop their division at 10 and 3 and should win the division pretty handily Uh, they have the fifth best defense in the league as far as points per game go uh, just a look at some of their stats, man. You can tell that they have a great turnover margin. They got hella guys with interceptions uh, on that defense, man. And this team is definitely going to make a run in the playoffs, if you ask me. Number six. At number six, we have the Dallas Cowboys, who have quietly been winning games, as I said earlier in the broadcast. This rushing game behind Ezekiel Elliott is something to be feared, as they have the second highest rushing attack in the league. If you look at their schedule here, after those two disappointing losses to the Giants and the Cardinals, this team has won every single game. Granted, they have been playing some beat-up teams, uh, but man, this team, this team's something to be feared, man. Watch out for the Dallas Cowboys. Number five. At number five, we have the Cleveland Browns, who are as well sitting atop their division, uh, just like most of the teams in this top ten. Um, Led behind a really strong defense as they have the number one points per game defense in the league at 14 points. This team is stingy, but I want to take a look at their offense. As we look at Baker Mayfield with 2,731 yards with 27 touchdowns and Nick Chubb balling out with 1,164 yards on the ground. This team is definitely going to be a contender come playoff time, and I hope whoever matches up with them is ready for a heavy dose of Nick Chubb. Number four. Here's where my list will become controversial. Is I have the San Francisco 49ers at fourth. If you look at their stats, man, they're middle of the pack everywhere you look. Uh, and they are currently sitting third in the division, I believe. But there's just something about this team, man, that I just cannot get over, man. I truly feel if injuries didn't impact this team, this team would be sitting atop their division. Um, I'm not going to sleep on them, and you shouldn't either, man. If they make the playoffs, be careful. Number three. At number three, we have the Arizona Cardinals. And the reason for that is they are left behind a hot, I mean red hot offense. uh, Leading the way by Kyler Murray and this rushing attack. Uh, Kyler Murray currently is sitting with 166 completions uh, for 3,062 yards and 27 touchdowns. While they have a two-headed monster in the backfield that is something to be feared. You look at their recent games, uh, they've been winning a lot of good games, and they should finish off the season 2-0. 
uh, with the 49ers and the Rams to wrap up their season. So this team will definitely be in the playoffs, and it's something to be watched. Let's wait on it. Number two. At number two, we have the crybaby himself, the Seattle Seahawks. But it's not for any other reason than besides that this man's been balling out. Ever since he got called out for not being in the top ten, this man has beaten top-tier teams week after week after week. Granted, he's a little cheesy with it, but we're going to let that slide, man, uh, just because he's a, he's a clear-cut baller, man, and, uh, and it's fun to watch him play. It's fun to watch him call them crossing routes and, and the stretch on first down over and over and over again. So uh, if this guy makes the playoffs, man, which he will, uh, be on the lookout for him, man. Let's get it. Number one. At number one, I don't think it's any surprise to anybody, man. It's Mr. Cheese himself, All-American Gouda Chiefs, man. As you look at their stats, man, they are number one in passing for a reason. As Patrick Mahomes has been slanging that thing. 66 touchdowns on the season is something ridiculous. I hope Buddy can get the hints and tone it down next season. Uh, We like things to be sim around here, man. And that shit ain't sim at all. But you earned the number one spot for beating niggas' ass, man. Keep that shit up and let's get it, man. And that will conclude it for this episode of Top 10. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. I really enjoy making these. Uh, the conversation that it creates is always fun. Uh, if you feel you didn't make it and you should have, I don't give a fuck. Prove me wrong next season because this is the last one, gentlemen. Let's get it. Enjoy the playoffs. <laughs>